Hey YouTube, it's Jurak Master. Um, finally, after searching all over today, finally found one Walmart that actually had some of the Dawn of the XYZ deck. So, I'm just going to be doing a quick little review of some of the new stuff it brought. Got us three number 39 Utopias. I mean, I got three of the deck. You need to get three to get three of these. Because it comes with one each. So, I'll just be putting them up here. Uh, it's a level four. It takes two level... Uh, rank four, rather. It takes two level fours. Um, and its effect just negates attacks. And if it doesn't have materials and it gets attacked, it kills itself. So, um, I'd recommend only using the negation once, unless you have to to use the negation, or if you have another one to support your first one. Um, decks that could use this really well right now are gadgets. I think the more level 4, or rank 4, um, exceeds we get, the better gadgets can use extra decks. Uh, they'll just be able to spam their little gadgets and then make that level 4 or rank 4 exceed. It's going to take some getting used to calling them rank instead of level. Uh, I like the art on these things, like the card design. They've got like stars and stuff in the background, like they're out in just empty space. So that's like the black on the cards has that. So it's pretty cool. Um, the next one you get is the one that I'm going to personally be using more first out of the ones that have come so far. Grenosaurus. It doesn't screw with any of your stuff, like um, goes and match or um, rivalry of warlords. It works with solidarity. It's just really good. It has a burn effect. It's not the greatest. Um, I would have liked to see a better effect from the first dinosaur exceed, but I mean, it, overall it's okay. I guess you could attack and burn for game or something. So mainly that's what he does. You just remove one after it does battle damage, I think. Uh, no, when it destroys an opponent's monster by battle. Um, you can burn by removing one. does a thousand. And lastly, you will get this little gachi gachi gen gantetsu thing. Um, it's just your rank two. Um, stops it from being destroyed by removing one. Um, just kind of, I guess, sits there. It pumps your other guys by a little bit. Not too bad. I won't be using it. Not in Exceed, uh, not in Jurax at least. So, those are the ones we have so far. And I'm going to just be going over some of the brand new cards that come with the deck that we haven't seen before. Uh, you get this little level 3 that becomes level 4 when in face-up defense position. You get this thing that gains for every level 2 you have. He's also not that good. Um, uh, this thing can make itself level 3 once per turn. You can see it's all going to be about level manipulation again. Whatever. This thing can special summon to um, level 2s from the grave. I guess it's not bad. It has to be destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, and the effects are negated. So it's not bad. Um, out of all of the new ones, it might be the best monster. And this one's helpful for making our Grenosaurus, but I'm not going to use it because it's a warrior and it's earth, so it's also weak, so it just doesn't fit. Um, it makes a another monster level 3. Uh, when it's normal or special summoned. So, just more level manipulation. This thing changes from attack to defense position when it's targeted for an attack. And this thing just destroys defense face-up defense position monsters before damage calculation. I'm just going to get rid of these three. They're just not the coolest one we have. Um, and then it gives us three new spells. One's to detach an XYZ material to uh, destroy an opponent's monster. Uh, another one makes a monster level 4. 
just any monster really. Um, and this one gives a monster 1,000 attack and defense, or gain they gain that much until your next standby phase. So that thing could be annoying um, for attacking over people and whatnot. I doubt I'll use it because it's not the best card ever. Um, this thing's just when you XYZ summon, you destroy a monster on the field. Or not just a monster, a card rather. And this one gives mon XYZ monsters you control 300 attack for each material attached to them until the end phase. So that's mainly the new stuff we got from the deck. And as I've been anticipating, we got Grenosaurus. So I will be doing a deck update, including probably one or two of these in my extra deck. Um, I probably won't go into it that much, it's just a fire dinosaur. What more could Jurax ask for? Except for a Juraxic Seed monster, which I hope they do end up doing. Um, so, uh, Wiseman's Chalice, good card to start running with these things out. Because it says no synchroing, it doesn't say no exceed summoning. So, I'll probably use those starting soon. But, as of right now, we just have this, so it's not as good. It will start getting better as time goes on with the more levels that come out. Say you steal your opponent's Stardust, take your own level 8, and then go into, like, Thunder End Dragon or something. Um, that's going to be a pain in the butt for people to face. And a good thing about stealing the opponent's monster from the grave and using it to summon these guys is unless you use the effect, it doesn't go back to their graveyard either, so they don't have control of it. Uh, it's just more control for the game. So, Wiseman's Chalice, it's like a reborn for making these things. Um, I will be posting a video as well on cards that I think are good to go with Exceeds now, especially for this guy, making level 3s. Gotta love it. Um, so, hope you enjoyed. I'll be posting that deck update and the Exceed video soon. Alright, see you YouTube.